Many people view financial planning and retirement planning as the same thing, but they are very different. Here now to explain the differences and how they can impact all of us, Roland Klunich, president of Roland Financial Wealth Management, also author of the book Magnetic Retirement. Good to see you again, Roland. Thanks you for too, coming Sean. in. Um, can you first start by giving us a definition of what financial planning is? Well, Sean, simply put, financial planning is the process of developing a personal roadmap for your financial well-being. So some of the items that would be included in your roadmap are your current household income, uh, your assets, your debts or liabilities, your goals, and your current and future financial needs. Okay, so let's transition and, and get the definition of retirement planning and, and how that's different. Sure, Sean. Retirement planning is the process of determining retirement income needs and the actions and decisions necessary to achieve them. So retirement planning could include things such as identifying your sources of income like social security and pensions, estimating your new expenses, managing your assets and investment risk, tax planning as well as legacy planning. Some say another way to look at financial planning and retirement planning uh, is the difference between people at work versus money at work. Um, can you elaborate? Well, Sean, the people at work refers to financial planning, while the money at work refers to retirement planning. So think of it this way. When you're younger, you're busy working in your career and you're building your life. The financial planning that you're doing is essentially working and building up your nest egg. You're trading your time for dollars. But when you retire, you no longer have that job, so your income is gone. So now you need the nest egg that you've built to work for you. In other words, your money has to provide an ongoing income and continue to grow to allow you to live a comfortable retirement. Okay, so um, are there certain time frames that, that people need to be aware of when it comes to this? Is, is there a point where you transition from one to the other, or is it always simultaneous? Well, Sean, typically financial planning starts in our 20s and kind of continues through our late 50s. Uh, good financial goals in our 20s would be to develop an emergency fund with three to six months of household expenses and savings, eliminate your student loans, and begin contributions to a 401k or 403b if there's a company match. If you're living as lean as you can in your 20s, that can help set your financial foundation. So now when you get into your 30s, you buy your first home, you start a family, you'll be in a better position to increase your investing to develop that nest egg over the next 20 or 30 years. So what about the time frame for retirement planning? Well, Sean, retirement planning is different for everyone, but it should start at least five to seven years from when you want to retire. So during your financial planning stage, you've been building your nest egg. Well, now comes the time to develop a plan on how that nest egg is going to provide you the income and the money that you'll need for the next 20, 30 plus years. So it means you have to have a shift in thinking and a shift in investment strategies because now it becomes uh, about developing an income stream and about the preservation of your nest egg. So you, you can't afford the same risks you did when you were younger once you're in that retirement phase. So just remember, whatever age, you should always be planning. Yeah, the key word is plan. Exactly. All right, Roland Klunich, president of Roland Financial Wealth Management and author of Magnetic Retirement. We appreciate it. Thanks, Sean. Jet 24 Action News at 5.30 begins in just a minute.